what we're going to do is I'm, I'm planning and starting at the really, really basic stuff, right? A lot of people do this, but don't realize they're doing it. And a lot of people don't necessarily realize that you can do it. So it's, it might seem a bit, a bit trivial, a bit beginners like, but I'm hoping that by, by doing this, that you'll see uh, something that's, that's maybe new to you. So first of all, the first advice I'm giving to everybody is slow yourself down. If you just do things slowly, people are really great at bang, clicking and that, and away we go, get it up and it starts and all that happy stuff. If you do it more slowly, you learn more. I'm now going to have to wait on that Arduino start. There we go. So I can stop it. If I put the mouse over there, then it gives me information. These are called tool tips. And they're everywhere. Everywhere you go, there's a tool tip will pop up to tell you what it is and why it's there. Right? And all, all over the, the place, in places where you don't, that if you just go and stop, the tool tips will come. And that's useful. The other thing there is that the mouse itself works. If you're a programmer and you're actually in programming how the mouse works, a mouse clicking on something is a complicated animal. There's about six different phases. There's the mouse over phase, which is when you have to declare a tooltip. There's the mouse down phase, which is when the person push, pushes the button. There's the mouse up phase. There's a mouse click, which is when he does down and up. And there's a mouse double click, which is down and up and down and up. And then mouse leave when the mouse goes away. And all of those things are programmed separately by the programmer. And in most cases, they all do something different. The simplest one is a single click, and that selects something. So click that once, and it selects my PC. Click that once, and it selects that. I'm only allowed to have one thing selected at a time. If I double click it, then generally it activates it. It makes it do whatever its default behavior is. So for a link like that, a shortcut, the default behavior is to open. And if I double click that, click, click, it opens. And again, if I just let my mouse let linger over things, it will get to tell me what they are, tell me information about them. Right? And people don't, they go too fast, they, they bring you this stuff and they miss it. While we're on it, the right mouse, I've got two mouse buttons, the left mouse and the right mouse. The right mouse is always context sensitive. It always does something based on where I am. So for example, if I'm at the taskbar there and I right mouse, it gives me stuff to do with the taskbar. If I'm at the start button and I right mouse, I get stuff to do with the start button, which is different. Over here, right mouse, different stuff again. And one of the, the big tricks that you have to remember is either to stop having anything having focus, click somewhere in the middle of nowhere. And if you click in the middle of nowhere, then nothing is selected anymore. Right? I'll select that by clicking it once. And if I click in the middle of nowhere, I unselect it. So I'm no longer worrying about the Arduino. Similar, 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 in the same way, if I right mouse the Arduino, that gives me stuff to do with that link. If I right mouse in the middle of nowhere, it gives me general stuff, like how's my display set up? How do I personalize this? Right? And that right mouse is useful everywhere, even places that you haven't thought about. Places where you think, nah, people, people have never been there. For example, there's a program, right? And if I left mouse that, I select it and it starts. And it's simply a thing for digging through files. If I right mouse it, it gives me a couple of options. 
one of which is to, I've got it pinned to the taskbar. See that pinning to the taskbar? If you want to pin something to the taskbar, you either open it like that there, and while it's open, you can right mouse pin to the taskbar, or you can take something like that and just drag it down there and wait. And you see where it says pin to the taskbar? And I'll let it go, and that's now pinned to the taskbar. But getting back to this, if I right mouse it, now that there, you automatically know that if I click that, it's going to start. But if I right mouse it, nobody would ever have thought I right mouse in that. Here's more options. I can open it or I can run it as administrator. Sometimes you need to run a program as administrator. And the quick way of doing that is that right click on whatever it was you would use to start it. And you get the option to run it as administrator. Or I can look at its properties. Where is that file? Why do I start it? What's the security? What's the compatibility? All of that good stuff is available all on the right mouse. Now, another one that people don't know, people forget, people haven't ever cottoned on to, is remember I said that thing about if you click once, that selects something. Well, one of the things that that selects is a menu item. I'm going to make this bigger. And if I click on file, but if I move my mouse, away it goes and I'm, I'm showing other things. So what I'm going to do is click on file once and then go to examples and that pops up. But if I move to those examples, it'll disappear. Oh, it disappears. So what I've got to do is click on file once and then click on it examples and that locks that examples thing open and then I can click on basics and that locks that open to get to whatever it is I want to open as opposed to if I just press file and just go there and try to get to there I might get things are opening and shutting and You'd have this thing where the windows, you, you're going in and out the, the menus, and the menus are opening and closing round about you. If you find menus are opening and closing round about you, then you use that single click. Another thing you should know is that, remember I said how the mouse has got all these different phases? As a programmer, you write things to happen when the person lets go of the button, what's called the mouse up event. So if I go to, I'm about to start that program and I press the button and I decide I don't want to press that button. If I just move away from it, I've still got the button down. At this point, when I do the mouse up event, the mouse up is no longer on that program. So I don't start it. So if I click it once and just let go, it starts the program. If I click it once, and decide I don't want to start that program, all I have to do is move the mouse away so that that program is no longer in focus. My mouse is on something else and I can let go of the mouse and I haven't started the program. And finally, ask and you shall receive. I've got one other thing to do after this, but we'll talk about, oh, I need the device manager or I need the registry editor, or I need all these things. See this wee white box along here? If I type in there, device manager, before I'm finished the word device, there it is there. And I press that button and I'm off to the races. I don't need the device manager at the minute, so I'll shut that down. Uh, something to do with Windows Update. Update's a good word. Up oh, here we go. And there's check for updates and there's Windows update settings and I can pick any of those. How about firewall? There we go and I want to check my firewall. There's all the things that I can do to the firewall simply by putting the word in that little thing at the bottom there. Registry editor. There we are. All the things I need to do 
I can press that. People, you have no idea how you find the registry editor, but there you are. You can get it there immediately. We're asking you to receive, if you just put the one word that you're looking for in that box there, it will do most of the work for you. Lastly, very last thing is, have you ever shut, been looking at something on your browser and shut a window? Can you shut that window and then think, oh, wait a minute, I don't want that window either. I'll go along here. Wait a minute. I wish I still had that window open, that black window with the, the time of flight controller. Well, if you do control shift and T, control and shift are down at the bottom left hand side of your keyboard. And if I do control shift and T, it will bring back that tab. And if I do control shift and T again, it will bring back the tab I had before that. So if I lose something, I can go back to it. 